Well, the six race has gone to Friend of Freedom and looking for back-to-back -back wins has achieved it today for Dig Des Egdes. Dex Ex Dextus. Well done, Des. Lap, thanks very much. Big thanks to the partners as well. We've been, they've been very patient with us also. As you know, he's uh, made in form. You wouldn't think that he'd come out and win the way he has and won again. Um, you know, he's just been his own worst enemy this horse, standing in the gates, not jumping out on terms. And thanks to the starters as well, to giving, you know, downgrading him, giving him the time, less time to stand in the gates, which has made all the difference. I must commend Stuart on his ride today. I did say, Stuart, whatever you do, make sure he comes out, but sit on him midfield, keep covered. Mm -hmm. And then when I saw him go wide, and clear. <laughs> and clear. I said, well, Stewie, that's a great ride. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> but he did say the saddle slipped up his neck, but he, you know, he felt when he got the bump, the horse just took off. And uh, naturally, you know, he lost a bit of balance. Saddle slipped slightly, which Stewie kept him away from the, the, the bunch of horses and, and regained himself and saddle got back into the right position. And well, the rest is history. Very happy. Well done, Des. Thanks. Thank Just a very unlucky on my other horse, Paul. I don't know if you watched the replay. You know, this horse had absolutely nowhere to go. And I think had he have got a clear run, I think we would have been first and second or either way around. Very yes, difficult. Well, Thanks, well done. Mate. Let's speak to Stewie. By the sound of things, the, the saddle slipped up your neck the way he said it, <laughs> but it was actually the horse's neck. Huh? Yeah, I had to run through a few checklists here at the back straight. <laughs> yeah, but the good thing was, you know, once he was out there, he actually relaxed and I was able just to gather my composure again and uh, get the saddle back. And yeah, what do you do with your saddles so slipping like that? It's a tough thing. The best thing is not obviously not to fight them because it's just going to roll over underneath them. Um, I find the best thing is just to let them get on with it mm. and try to shift your weight sort of forward on the neck so you can push backwards with your feet if that yeah. makes sense. But uh, it makes sense. if he's, you know, this also helps what kind of horse you got. If he's going to, whereas mine, I was lucky enough that he relaxed, you know, being out there away from other horses. So I was able to just get that saddle back into position. Um, so by the time we got to the bend, I was able just to slide him onto the rail and give him a bit of a breather. And when asked him for effort, jeez, he just kept finding. So right. he won a good race. Very good race. Yeah, a big thank you to Des and his team. He's yeah, prepared. Yeah. I was actually a bit shocked myself. So <laughs> well done. Uh, firstly, for getting the saddle back and for the double. Absolutely. Thanks very much. Well Thanks, done. Alex. Ravesh, come have a chat. You, you were more you were more excited than the horse was. You were yes. blowing a bit. Yes, yes, yes. Because this is the second time we're here, and thanks to Des, thanks to Randolph, he rode a great race, and to the partners who missed out. Unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Happy you have many more. Thank you. Lovely. Uh, well done, Pravesh. And uh, well done to the partners. And uh, friend of freedom, back to back wins. Chris Saunders, the breeder, the breeder of this slew, the red. And uh, Des Egg is the trainer.